Hey, today we're talking ETFs, one of my favorite investment vehicles. Stay connected. Hey, what's popping, everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast. Also, I'm an IT professional. And on this channel, we talk all things financial freedom, economy, investing, retirement, and major key mindset. So make sure you like, subscribe, notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my special content. All right, cool beans. And guys, here on Game of Finance, we're trying to bring positive change, help, learn, share ideas, growth, and good leadership. So please stay safe, stay healthy. And now without further ado, let's get this work. So yeah, guys, very excited today. We're bringing ETS to the forefront. Furthermore, we aim at the clarification and classification of ETPs, exchange traded product. So by the end of this video, I should have a higher degree of understanding about this type of investments. All right, and guys, just like any financial product, ETPs are not a one size fit all solution. Evaluate them on their own merits. So. Make sure you check out the management fees, commission fees, how easily you can buy and sell, and the quality, okay? Let's begin. I know this seems like a lot of information, but it's just that I love forensic analysis. So please follow along. Today, ETP ecosystem, exchange traded products. So that you can follow easier, you're gonna go right through here. It is ladder. And through here and then we're going to focus in this area here with the ETFs what I love and we're going to go down here up above some of the keys and then we're going to end on this section all right so please follow along cool beans y'all see me bringing out the dragonfly board make sure that y'all have your pen and paper ready I told you we're going to regulate now the other two bonuses I'm going to give you at the end of the video so y'all stay tuned until the end all right Hey guys, ETP ecosystem, exchange traded products, definition, types of security that track the underlying securities, an index or other financial instruments. Again, we're focusing on right here, clarification and classification. So pay attention. All right. We're going to begin with this one here, ETI, exchange traded instruments is focused on cash, derivatives, OTC, which are the over-the-counter. You'll see this a lot when you do the um, international exchange, you know, trying to uh, purchase uh, international stock. You'll see this, you know, you'll see the real or the virtual instrument process, you know, for the distribution, all right? So that's what this is right here, ETI, very simple. Second one, exchange traded commodities etc now this one this one focus on the commodities as, as far as you know gold silver livestock you know uh, corn things like that crude crude oil um and this one literally is the fusion between the etf and the etn now this one is traded on the stock exchange and tracks the commodity or the commodity index, right? You know, this one allow investors to gain exposure to the commodity market without the need to actually get future contracts or buying actual physical commodities, you know, buying actual physical, you know, silver or gold, all right? So keep that in mind. But this, we we'll go back to, we're gonna address it on the ETF side. So you know a little bit about the differences, all right? So again, exchange traded commodity, ETC, just a fusion between the ETF and the ETN, all right? Now, touching that ETN, we're gonna focus on that right now. ETN, exchange traded note. So what's the ETN? Simple, it's like a bond. It's an unsecured debt note issued by an institution, key secure debt note follow me now let's just start here check it out it's for a reason similar to a bond an 
ATN can be held to maturity or traded at will. Now, if for some reason the underwriter were to go bankrupt, there's a possibility to fail to honor. Total default, guys. Keep an eye. Also, I want you to remember, fail to honor. Add that to your dictionary, all right? Get your man right so we can start talking that same lingo, be on the same page. Now, how can we deal with this? Simple. For that reason, you need to check the credit ratings. Check the credit ratings, guys. Use it as a metric to avoid downturn. That's what you, one of the tools that you can use to avoid any discrepancy. So, as a summary, exchange trading note ETN, like a bond, on secure debt notes. Make sure that you keep an eye. If the underwriter goes, uh, were to go bankrupt, you know, possibility to fail to honor, total default. What you can do regarding that uh, discrepancy, well, check uh, the credit ratings. That way you can avoid any possible uh, downturn. All right, guys? Cool beans? Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. Now we go cream of the crop, ETF. One of my favorites. I have peers say, hey, P, ETFs are boring. Not to me. I love boring stuff. All right? Check it out. ETF. Exchange traded funds. And guys, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to be vicious. I'm not going to give you the actual definition of an ETF in the investing world because it's going to drive you crazy. So I took the initiative to break it down for you. All right. So I got you. Keep an eye. Check it out. An ETF is a basket of securities, future contracts, stock, bonds, commodities that you can trade through a broker or a financial advisor. I see people even actually including corporate issuers, but no, no, that, that relates more to the ETN. As an institution, you can say institution slash corporate issuer. Here, let's keep it simple. Through a broker or your financial advisor, all right? So let's keep it moving. And guys, smash that like if you like so far the value of this content. So I really appreciate it. Okay, cool. Let's continue on. A little of the uh, backstory. ETF were launched to overcome the lack of liquidity and program trading. That's one of the reasons they decided to come up with this idea. Now, the actual, the first ETF was introduced in 1993, which is the famous, infamous SPY on the S&P 500. And it actually, it's actually one of the most heavily traded funds that we have, regardless if it's just, uh, you know, the ETF or, or stocks. The SPY, S-P-Y, S&P 500, 1993. That was uh, when it was first launched, all right? So, Another uh, special element for the ETFs is that they use a unique ticker symbol. Like I mentioned before, for the SPY, the S&P 500, that's another index ETF similar to the S&P like VOO or IVV for iShares. They all have that unique element of having a unique ticker symbol. So that's just a little tip um regarding the identifier for each etf not only for those but for any of the sectors etf from technology to financial healthcare etc okay so down to the nitty-gritty etfs so what did they offer what did they have well they have that combination of mutual funds and stocks let's see let's break it down so let's go ahead and pick mutual funds first Let's begin with simplicity, transparency, risk control, diversification, and open-end fund. Huge. Now let's go to the stock side. The way they are exchange traded throughout the day. That's the beautiful thing. You can it doesn't matter as long as you doing that open market hours, you're good to go. Doesn't matter. You can go ahead and exchange, sell, buy any time between that time frame remember the other plus flexibility 
and strategic trade. Another huge plus. So as you can see, <clears throat> you'll see here the benefit, the combination of the mutual funds and the stocks, you put them together, ETF is born. Beautiful. Again, I love ETF, guys. I'm gonna tell you. So coming, continuing on down here, another plus for us investors. Why? Easy to use. Low cost. We all want that low cost. Enough of paying of the commission and, and, and management fees. Crazy. But this one here, tax efficient. Guys, remember, get your mind right. This is not about how much you make. It don't matter. The key is how much, um, sorry, how much you're able to keep. All right. That's the main key. That's when this tax efficiency comes into play. So again, ETF tools, they offer for us as investors, easy to use, low cost, tax efficient, not what you make, what you keep. All right. Keep that in mind. Next. Uh, we move on to the ETF structure. This is a little more complex, but I broke it down uh, in a simpler way. So let's begin. ETF structure, two segments, primary market, secondary market. All right, watching. Let's begin with the primary market. ETF, sponsor, issuer. Then you see all the issuer members right here. iShares, I'm pretty sure you heard. Vanguard, the State Street, PowerShare, Swaps, etc. There's a bunch of them, but those are the main players with the higher volumes of ETS. So this is the primary market, secondary market. You see right here. Buyer, you see the stock exchange and the seller. You and me, right here. This is the section that we, this is where we at. You see the arbitrage right here from the issuer, the sponsor, to the stock ex exchange, buyer and seller. All right, so this is the better picture. Very Hi guys. So moving away from the ETF structure, going down here to the section that we really want to hear. This is the type of investment. So right away. ETFs, stocks ETF, commodity ETFs, bond ETFs, international ETFs, and sector ETFs, which we have 11 of them. We have 11 sec. That's another tactical way that someone could invest in the stock market. See right there, I just gave you a free pearl of wisdom right there for free. So again, type of investments. Now we're going to focus on this section here, what I mentioned earlier in the video regarding the ETC. We have a commodity ETF here. This one is mainly focused on gold. It's the IAU trust. That's what makes it an ETF, which is totally different from this. All right. What is the main focus? Buys physical gold for exchange of shared issued that's how this etf works totally different from the etc which is the combination of the etf plus the etn all right guys following smash that like button all right again commodity etf this is how it works for this one now we have another etfs you know many others they actually focus on the commodity but in a broader market you know they include gold you know, zinc, silver, copper, nickel, live cattle, coffee, corn, you know, soybean, etc. I can keep going, you know. So they work differently again from this type of uh, uh, ETCs. So the process for this one, again, focusing on this one to, to make it simple because it's just one holding the gold, you know, they buy physical gold for exchange of shared issue it's just to keep it simple right guys so again type of investment stocks commodity bonds international and sector which we have 11 of them so we have plenty of room to invest for all right cool again moving along next phase 
reason to invest, the use of ETF, different classification. In this case, because we have, you know, so many different investors, different styles. The first one, maybe you're looking to use ETF to build strong core or sick income. Prepare for market turbulence. Key, invest in uh, internationally, act on opportunity. And this is another key here, you know, ETFs are structured with the aim to shield investors from capital gain taxes. Now you have to keep in mind, if you go crazy, you know, selling and acquiring one one day and then selling on the next day, that's going to create implications. So you have to keep it simple and control yourself. So this is, this is a quote unquote made. So, you know, it's a shield, but you know that the shield, you know, it can only last so long. So keep in mind, again, reason to invest, build strong core, seek income, prepare for market turbulence, invest internationally, act on opportunity. And again, going back to here, tax efficiency. All right, so good to go. So on this section, we're gonna be moving up here. ETP keys, exchange traded products keys, right there, this apply to ETI, ETC, ETN, and ETF. So first one, asset classes. Second, investment styles. And third one, geographic sectors. And guys, this sector, as far as the ETF, this is a trillion dollar industry, guys. So this, this is moving huge numbers, all right? So also keep that in mind. That's a, a, an incentive for you. A trillion dollar industry. Hmm. All right, so next phase. ETF versus mutual funds. We're gonna be focused on that area, mainly on the forecast. These are the elements right here. So we're gonna begin trading. What are the timing frame? Well, for the ETF, very beneficial. It's gonna be during the open market hours. No problem, you'll be able to buy and sell, no issue. With the mutual funds, totally different story. You have to wait for the end of day for you to be able to see the update and any changes on your account. That's the big difference, big, big difference. Now, next, cost. Low for the operation expenses. Very, 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 very low. Now, for the mutual funds, it varies. Back then, it used to be very, very expensive. My goodness. But now there have been some changes, more reasonable. But as far as me picking, but this is my choosing, my own personally, I still stick with ETFs, all right? Next, investment minimum. Well, of course, with ETF, there's no minimum. You just pick the ETF that you want and you invest the amount, that is it. Now, for mutual funds, totally different. There, there's a possibility that you might need to actually begin with a minimum of a thousand dollars, three, five, ten, you know, it all depends. It all depends on the company and the type of mutual fund management, etc. So huge difference right there. Next, efficiency as far as the tax. Well, ETF, like I mentioned before, very tax efficient. Mutual fund, it's just less tax efficient. The only, you know, the the, the good thing is. They, you know, the ETS is part of what the, the basic fundamental of the mutual fund. So it does have that benefit. It's just that the ETF uh, has a better chance of, on shielding investors um, against, uh, you know, capital gains uh, implications. So, but still mutual fund has some points there. All right, moving along. S uh, sales, right here, ETF, they don't have no sale low, zero. Now, mutual funds that may have so low, and some sometimes they're pretty big that you have to, again, you know, there's so many numbers as far as commission, redemption, management fees, all that stuff. I mean, it is really, really insane when it comes to the mutual funds. But in that case, it's really obvious, you know. I, I stay here in this section, me personally, the ETFs. And the last part, which is key, Closely matched index versus mutual fund. 
try to beat the index. We all know that mutual funds is having a hard time beating a uh, 500 index. We have seen it, we've seen the numbers. Uh, even though they have management experts on the other side, they're still having an issue. But you see here with ETF, we have seen many ETFs being able to actually beat the market and outperform the 500 index. So again, another obvious no brainer reason for me, I'd rather stay here, closely match the index. I don't need to go with all the bells and whistles. Let me stay here, save and sound, match it. And there's a big chance that I'll be able to, to match it and beat it, hey, even better. So hopefully you get some insight on this section here, ETF versus mutual funds, all right? Guys, in no way I'm saying that ETFs are better than mutual funds. You know, it's just my uh, preference, my style. I rather stay on that lane with the ETFs now. So, you know, there's some mutual funds that I've been able to come through that they rock, you know, being able to beat the market. But you have to keep in mind, you have to know about the management team. That's another thing. You got to read and find out, hey, who's the manager? How long they've been doing this? So that's another uh, key element when it comes to mutual funds. If you know that, they, that the team rocks, this uh, big opportunity there. So again, I'm not saying mutual funds is the best or the worst or ETF is the best or the worst. It all depends up to you and your style. All right. Cool beans. Food for thought right there. Big section from here to here. So why invest on ETFs? My philosophy is simple right here because of their simplicity, cheaper and access to a diversified goodie. Enough said, like a promise, bonus time. Got two of them, let's begin. Most ETFs seek to closely match the performance on a, of an established stock or bond index such as S&P 500. Actively managed mutual funds try to beat the index, which can be hard to do, especially after fees and taxes. However, some of the ETS have been able to outperform the mutual funds peers on average over the past 10 years, guys, that's humongous. 75% for me, that is obvious as far as the, you know, the picking and choosing and accommodating my investing style. Next a bonus tip, transparency, knowing what you own, because an ETS usually aim to track an index, their holdings change relatively little over time without the style drift that may surprise mutual fund investors. That's another phrase for you to add to your lingo. Style drift, that's key. Because when you get your ETF, you'll be able to see your holdings even before you get the ETF or not just within your brokerage account. You can look it up online, Yahoo Finance. You'll be able to see the transparency there. So guys, obvious choice for me, take a look at it, study hard, do your homework, all right? Cool beans. And also, guys, as an incentive, I'm going to go ahead and frame this content on a PDF file. That way you can download and study. And please take it with a grain of salt. You know, also as well, this takes a lot of time and effort, you know, to get through all these details and dissecting. So please enjoy and study hard. All right, cool beans. So yeah, guys, hope you find this content valuable. Please practice due diligence. Do your homework. Also, I want to share down in the description below my investing one on one guide. Go ahead and get it. Submit your name, email, submit, take you straight to the download link. It's free. No excuse. Also, for my Latin and Spanish people, I got you. Same process. Name, email, submit. You'll see the form in Espanol. Go get it as well. All right. So please like, comment, subscribe notification bell that's the four call of duty formula like subscribe comment notification bell cool beans gotcha so anyway guys thank you for your time thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you on the next chapter all right work hard work smart i'm out y'all